If the evolutionary model is correct, modern amphibians have not always existed. When we examine their fossils, we would find ancestral forms long before we find any amphibians. And we would find simple amphibians before the complex and modern amphibians. The creationist model instead claims that all modern kinds of amphibians have always existed. If the creationist model is true, every modern kind of frog and salamander has always existed. This means that when the Ediacaran rocks were laid down at some point in Earth's history, all frog and salamander kinds existed. And the same is true for the Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, etc. So this prediction is easy enough to test. Amphibians are not that hard to find in terrestrial environments today. And so therefore, if every modern kind of amphibian has always existed since the first week of life on Earth, it should not be that difficult to find one example from the old rock layers. Unlike the predictions of the creationist model, not a single amphibian fossil is known from the Precambrian era, which is thought to represent the overwhelming majority of Earth's history. No amphibians are known for the first 200 million years of the Paleozoic era. When amphibians are first found in the fossil record at the end of the Devonian, they are very primitive amphibians which still possess a number of fish-like traits. The Amphibians which belong to the modern groups of frogs, salamanders, and Sicilians, these do not appear for well over a hundred million years after the first amphibians are known in the fossil record.